Hi there. My name is Pam Blasco and I'm from Dream Come True Farm. And today I'm going to attempt to show you how to spin on a drop spindle. Um, after I'm finished, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me through my website, which is www.dreamcometrueyarn.com or visit my blog at www pamsfiber.blogspot.com Either website has uh, the email address to contact me on. Okay, so let's get started spinning on the drop spindle. Alright, now we're going to draft out a little bit of fluff from our roving, like this, and hook it onto the hook of the drop spindle, just like this. Now we're going to take the roving and throw it over our shoulder so that it doesn't get in our way and wrap around the spindle as we're spinning. Um, we spin the spindle clockwise. So we're going to spin it clockwise, then we're going to draft a little bit of roving out and let the twist travel up. So we spin clockwise, we draft a little out, and it spins up. The beginning is a little bit, it's a little short, so when we get going you'll be able to see that a little better a little more twist into it. Okay, now we spin it clockwise and we draft a little bit out. Clockwise and draft a little bit out. You can see the twist traveling up into the fiber that I've drafted out. Drafting is nothing more than pulling your fibers apart. So again, we spin it clockwise and we draft a little bit of fiber out and the twist will travel up it. We're doing it step by step but eventually, you'll just continue to draft and let it, the spindle drop while it's spinning and um, the twist travel up. But we don't want to get too much length that we can't handle, that it gets all a little discombobulated in the beginning. So we want to sp turn this on to our spindle, just like this. This is where we're storing the yarn hook around our hook again. I hook it around twice so that there's no chance of it slipping off and falling to the floor and it undoing itself. Um, again, we're going to turn our spindle clockwise, draft a little bit out. Clockwise, draft a little bit out. You can see the fluff that I'm drafting out. I'm trying to hold it in a manner that you can see it. Draft a little bit out. The spindle's dropping below the table, but all I'm doing is twisting it and drafting it out. Your drafting is the most important part. The spinning of the spindle is just spinning it clockwise and draft a little bit out and it travels up. Now, in the beginning your yarn will be inconsistent which makes no difference at all when you're talking about a hand spun yarn. Hand spun yarns um, with inconsist inconsistencies are gorgeous. I think it adds to the look of the hand spun. So, we're going to draft and let the twist travel. Let's put this back up onto our spindle, as shown before. Now, we've been spinning a semi-worsted weight yarn here. I can control the size of the yarn I spin by the amount I draft out. Um, so, let's, let's do a bulky yarn now. That means we're going to draft out a little bit more fiber. See, we're going to make it heavier. See the more fiber I'm drafting out? So when the twist travels up, that amount of fiber it makes a bulkier yarn. I hope you can see that. See, but you can see that I'm drafting out more, and there's your bulkier yarn. Get a little twist going, draft out more, and there's your bulkier yarn. Now, let's say we want to put the spindle down and continue, and somehow the fiber comes apart. Well, not to worry. All we're going to do is fluff out a little bit of fiber here, lay it against the fiber that is unspun itself, hold our finger on it, put our twist into it, and if there's enough twist, it won't come apart. So basically, this is all there is to drop spindling. Clockwise spin, the drafting out of the fiber, 
and allowing the twist to travel up. At first, it's a little awkward, but with time and practice, it gets easier and easier until you're just relaxing and spinning a beautiful yarn on your drop spindle. Um, I hope this helps you. If not, and you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me and I'll try to help you in any, any way that I can. Okay, we'll wrap it around and we'll do it one more time here. Alright, we're going to spin clockwise. I'm going to draft out the fiber and let the twist travel up. See the fiber? I'm pulling it apart, drafting it, twisting the spindle, pulling the fiber, letting the twist travel up the draft, drafted, pulled out fiber. I'm going to wind it on and begin the process again. Now, when you're winding it on, you want to go up and down, up and down while winding it on. Eventually what you want to happen is more to be wound on down here and get smaller up to here in a cone shape. You never want to go all the way because you want to have enough space so that you can grab it and twist it. So, this is your lesson number one in drop spindling. I hope this helps you get started. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you, and good luck with your spinning.